Welcome to Happy Hour Holidays, the podcast where we toast to entrepreneurship, business, and extraordinary life stories. I'm your host, Manny Fabre, alongside Sean Fabre. Today in studio, we got some awesome hosts, or some also awesome guests that you'll really like. Uh, we got Alicia, Alicia Henry. She's got an extraordinary story that's going to be unbelievable. We can't wait to hear it. And then we got the, the rainmaker realtor in the freaking house. Jana Pina. Shout, shout out Jeff Henry, though. <laughs> yeah, shout out Jeff Henry, too. Yeah, that's, that's Jeff's sister yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> we just found hey, out Jeff. right now. What's up, yeah. Jeff? We didn't even know you had a sister. <laughs> <laughs> I know. They were like, wait, <laughs> Jeff has a sister? I'm like, yeah, Alicia, that's my friend. And they're like, what? They're relating? So, yeah. Unfortunately, Jeff has left to Texas. But yes. we miss him here in Florida. We hope we visit often, but, uh, you know, good luck out there, and we really hope the best for everybody out there. Um, so, Alicia, um, you have an extraordinary story. Let's kind of get the background of yourself, you know, uh, how you came up and how you became a successful entrepreneur. And, you know, you went through some, you know, huge obstacles in life, and you still had a positive outlook on it, and you powered through, and you're here today, you know, forming a great nonprofit and so many other things you've done. So tell us a little bit about Alicia and how you kind of came up as a successful businesswoman. Well, um, I was born and raised in Queens, New York, and we moved to Tampa. I finished high school here, and um, I've always just, my mom's a nurse, and she mm. always wanted me to follow that path, and I actually started like nursing school, and I noticed that just wasn't for me. I just wasn't cool with wiping ass. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> true story. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I just always been very artistic. And in school, like whenever there was homecomings and proms, I would always be the one that does everybody's hair and makeup. And I just really enjoyed that. And I said, Mom, you know what? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to school, and I'm just gonna do hair and makeup. And she's like, that's not really a job. But I also had like a bridal room, so moms can get makeovers. And um, I did a lot of princess parties, and I became like one of the number one spas in Tampa that were known for throwing kids' parties. What was it called? It was called Jazzy Jewels Parties. Jazzy Jewels Parties? Right yeah. by Sickles off of, yeah. um, was it Gun Highway? It was on Gun Highway, right next to Sickles. And I did that um, successfully for about 10 years. Wow. And then I... I just felt like I started to get stuck in the kids' box. Like, everybody knew me as the throwing parties for kids and doing kids' haircuts and kids' things like that. But I really enjoyed doing more of the bridal stuff, the behind the scenes of the movie sets and things like that. So I kind of had to choose which way I wanted to go, and I ended up closing that business. And um, I just started to expand on the adult business, like doing bridal. And, and you opened up your other salon over there, and then you started doing all those other services, too. Exactly. <coughs> so I more woman-based services. Yeah. Okay. I opened more of, like, offering more spa services and um, just more even med spa services yeah, med at spa. that time. And then I had a facility where I kind of just rented out the rooms. Um, and then COVID happened, and I had to close that business and then I said you know what I'm really enjoying the freedom mm -hmm. that I had to be able to I had a small studio but just to manage myself and I had grown a team of girls that uh, were on call so it wasn't like I had to manage them because in the hair industry people don't want to pay booth rent they don't want to <laughs> They're like, they rent the booth or they rent the room and they're like, well, I didn't make money this week or this month. And they don't understand that that doesn't matter. You, if you're a boss, you still got to pay your rent. Yeah. All of your stuff is sitting in there. So it was just a lot dealing with that. So I decided I enjoyed like just having my own space and just worrying about myself. Mm -hmm. And that way I can grow and do other things that I, that I went on. And I actually got into this online beauty business where I, I signed up to a multi-level marketing, which I would not have never did. But because it was during COVID, I said, you know what, let me, we're, we're stuck here at home. Let me just sign up and 
and see joining that business. I've already um, surpassed all the goals and already was in management and had uh, over 50 people signed up under me. In so eight I, days? Mm -hmm. yeah. She's not exaggerating. Damn. She's not exaggerating. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. so you're like, multi-level marketing, let me crush it. that. She yeah. is calling everybody. She's like, I need you to order this right now. I need you to sign up. Pick five, love you, next. Yeah. Like, girl, I basically play. broke those records. And meanwhile, I had a friend who said, you know, I'm glad you're not with this guy anymore. He's toxic. You guys shouldn't be together. I really want to introduce you to someone else. And um, I was like, right now I'm about making my money. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, that was right now thing. I'm crushing this yeah. online thing. Like, I was able to redo, like, the floors in my house. Oh, shit. <laughs> get me some new boots. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was loving it, you know? And people were struggling during, co during COVID, and I was making money. So... Yeah. Um, she was like, I want you to meet this guy, and um, you guys can talk online. So she showed me his, you know, she gave me his Instagram. Um, he started following me, and I looked at his Instagram, and I was like, I, I don't think that's going to work, because <laughs> he, I saw multiple babies on his his thing, um, you know? Were they actually his kids? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> but he was a good there uncle. There are women rushing the judgment. Uncle, yeah. He's, just he's got really, five kids. Yeah. Those are his nephews and nieces. <laughs> <laughs> he was just a really good uncle, but they were like, he has like multiple twins as like his nieces and nephews. So I was like, there's a bunch of kids and they're like all the same age, you know? So I was like, I don't know. And he just looked like, a really good guy. Oh yeah, God forbid you get God with one of those. Right? Yeah. Uh, he's a good guy. He looked like work. a nice guy. No, let me go for that asshole over there. Exactly. And that's what I was used to going for the asshole. But I know after the last asshole, I was like, you know what? I want the complete opposite. Mm -hmm. The complete opposite of what I had before. So um because none of my friends, they were just like, You're giving this guy a chance? Because like I was just very cutthroat. Like I didn't give anybody a chance. We love you, Norman. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't give anybody a chance. She and didn't. I was very open to him, surprisingly, that they were like, even though I tried to cancel the, the first couple dates, and it was because it was during COVID. And I said, you know what? Give me some time. Right now, I'm trying to build this empire. I'm making some money. Yeah. I need to concentrate. Yeah. And he, he respected that. He's like, you know what? That really kind of attracted me to you. So you did cancel the first few times. Well, I did because of COVID, of COVID. and and everything that. So was where was going the first on. date at? So the first date that we planned, but rewind a little bit. We had planned to go to our first date, and then I took a test because I wasn't feeling good, mm -hmm. and I got COVID. Oh shit! Mm -hmm. So we had to wait three weeks after that time. So that's when I really noticed that this guy. Is the might be the one like he was he, a good guy. He lived up to the good guy. Damn, he's Before got we, he's got that online game. Down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what it sounds like because you guys hadn't no, been on a date he, yet. We haven't even been on a date, but and we, she's already like he's the one. I'm like, one. wow, yeah. I need to give this guy a real, real chance because we first of all had conversations over the phone, and when I tell you, we talked about everything. Like we, he laid everything out on the table. He was like, this is what I want. This is what I don't want. He had a list. A list. He had a list. Like and an actual I, written down list? Yes. Yes. Holy shit. And he's like, I hit everything on the list. I'm like, he read me the list. I'm like, this really sounds like me. Like, what's going on? It's a very well organized <laughs> individual. Yes. <laughs> yes, he is. Yes, he, yes is. he is. So we learned two things about Nate. Don't put kids on your Instagram profile. <laughs> yes. And then have a list. <laughs> yes. And he had a list, and it's because he's been single for a while. Um, he's. Is he older than you? Yeah, younger? He's, he's like six almost seven years older than me and he was not not married and didn't have any children and <laughs> and um, so you had a list too yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but actually on my list was not I was like you know what I'm down for somebody who has kids because I wasn't really open 
now, to because I have older th- children. That doesn't sound like what you said earlier. Mm. Well, I, I mean, saw a bunch two of kids sets on of the twins. Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's two yeah, sets yeah, of twins. Yeah, yeah, but the babies, the babies. <laughs> I was hoping that he would older have kids, kids like older <laughs> kids. Yeah, like half over but 10. these were like <laughs> a bunch of babies. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like she thought they were recent situations. <laughs> yeah. That's different. Like, yeah. damn, he's in and out quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they were, they were like the same age. So, but they were, they were twins. <laughs> so I get it. But, um, I was just very open to him because of she what was happened with COVID. Very strange. Yeah. And literally, this guy sent me flowers every day. Every day. Every like, day. He's like, what do you need? I'm praying for you. He sent me vitamins. Every vitamin every that I needed. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. And Sounds like a sugar daddy. I, 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 I need a Chanel purse, uh, the earrings. Yeah, yeah, this will help me get better. Right? Just put the vitamins no. inside the purse. Oh, my God. So he, he literally did all of that, and I said, you know what? Wow. Like, the people that I knew that were close to me weren't even there for me as much as he was during COVID. And Did you this hear is that, when Jonah? I was there. You were there. <laughs> she was there, I too. dinged on her door many times. There was she stuff was there, there for me, too. But Not just this you, is Norman. when COVID was really scary because it was, like, the first yeah, time that it hit. touch people They were like, we don't know if she's going to survive this type yeah. of thing. Yeah. Yeah. You Chris, know? Christian sent us a, a photo of you dressed up in, like, an all-hazmat pseudo yes. most When I, you went to go pick up your dad or yes. something. Yes, I went because I went to the hospital to pick him up. He had COVID. And you had and a hazmat suit on. Made out of, like, garbage bags. I made out of garbage bags. <laughs> like, cut a hole here. <laughs> I swear. I literally yeah. had the hazmat gloves up to here. Oh I taped it all up. <laughs> and I went to the I- emergency exit oh of the hospital. God. I'm like, I'm ready for my dad covered in plastic. And everyone's like, who is this crazy person? <laughs> Bro, the news had us going crazy. Yeah, well, this was like uh, the yeah. first time where we were like cleaning our groceries. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Like, you know, this is when they really had us freaked out. And like, they thought NASA showed up to the hospital. Yeah, I mean, they shit. did. I looked like an alien that just landed from Mars. Like, I'm here to get my dad. And they're like, what? <laughs> But um, <clears throat> but yeah, yeah. yeah, going back to yeah. COVID, just COVID. Yeah. So just COVID, he yeah. was there for me during COVID, and I said, you know what, I have to give this guy a date after all of that. Like, <laughs> yes. after I got better, um, I had to make sure that I tested negative first. So it took about three weeks to get like a full negative test because I didn't want to put him at risk, my kids or anybody else. And then um, we planned our first date. And we'll stop it right there. When we get back, we'll find out how she found love during the COVID uh, pandemic. We'll be right back. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much. And follow. (laughs) Does she find love? Welcome back to Happy Hour Holidays, and we're going to see if Alicia found love during the pandemic. The online game guy. He's got a <laughs> freaking game. What'd you call him? Norman. 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 Yeah. Norman. Did so, Norman sweep her off her feet <laughs> on with, date number one? With the list. <laughs> with the list. Did they get married in one month, two months, or three months? <laughs> oh, gosh. So, so where was the first Alicia date? Was, yeah, it was, it was the first date she was okay, going to. Okay, so we went... He, you felt sorry for him, so, so you had tried. to give him a date. That's so, why you, I got to give him a date no, now. <laughs> I didn't feel sorry for him, but, you know, I just... I think she was just nervous to, like... I was nervous. Give love a shot again. Well, probably I because of your previous relationships. Yes, and I was yeah. in that, like, toxic cycle for over 10 years that I just never really opened up to another guy. So it was just hard for me to do that transition. But... The day came, and <laughs> my girls walked me through it. <laughs> and they were like, you can do this. And I'm like, yes, I got this. So we went on the first date. So I was like, I'm very particular about having people to pick me up at my house. He wanted to be, you know, a good guy and pick me up. I said, I don't know. I'm going to have you pick me up at my mom's house. She's not there. Oh, that's a smart idea, yeah. actually. And yeah. my mom is not there. But I was like, just meet me there. So... He pulls up and meets my parents before me because they end up, <laughs> they end up pulling up and they're like, "What is this guy doing?" In my oh, you didn't even oh. give your parents a heads up. Mm-mm. No, they, they were, were not going to be home. <laughs> <laughs> so 
my mom, thankfully, you know, there wasn't another guy that I was talking about because when she pulled up, she's like, oh, are you the attorney? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, so he already knew he was in. <laughs> he was in. Because you had told your parents. <laughs> yeah, I had mentioned to my mom. He's like, okay, I'm in. And he's, she's like, are you the attorney? And then he's like, yeah. And um, when I pull up, I see him with my parents. <laughs> and then we meet going to the Orlando outlet. That's actually a nice one-hour drive where you yeah. get to talk. And, so we yeah. got to talk. And then we we went and we, we did some shopping. Um, and then after that, it was kind of like a wrap. We like went out to eat like on our official date and he told me like while we were eating he's like you know what you're the one no shit on the first date so that's the closer mm. you're the one you're the, you're like, the damn, one damn bro you a creep dog get away from yeah. me yeah he's like you're the one oh, you tell a woman that all of a sudden ah, ah. <laughs> i love and you they ghost you and, and yeah, the funny do. thing is is my friend the mutual friend Teresa, she had told him don't do it. Oh, shit. Because <laughs> he's like, I'm going to tell her she's the one. And she's like, don't do it. You're going to run her off. She's not going to like that. Don't do it. And he did it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He did it anyways. And he's like, you know what? You're the one. I think you're the one. And I just. But to be fair, I mean, y'all gone through COVID together. Yeah. We're talking. Well, no, this is the first time in. they're meeting. Yeah. But, but, you know, even if you don't meet a person but you talk to them i mean we still had a they couple were on months facetime talking. and talking for hours on lockdown well we were not on facetime but oh yeah you didn't meet him on, on facetime so you that's never right. saw his face in person no, or over the, the phone until and that's the why date. i was yeah. nervous too because we were beginning to catch feelings for each other and we haven't seen each other so i was like you know how when you meet someone something could just be off and i'm like all of that built up could just go to waste but we actually connected in person and it, and it it worked out so it's insane because a lot of people that you talk to on the phone you don't know if in person they're gonna yep. act the same way right like exactly. was he putting on a facade yeah, yeah. exactly was it his game he yeah. was right. was he really a serial killer was he gonna say <laughs> put the lotion on your skin or else it gets the hose again yeah. you know yeah. type shit yeah. i'm not having we sex are not yeah. yeah, he's like, he's not and having that, sex. And that was the hook, wants, line, and sinker right there. And because he wants, you know, the person that he does marry to be, he wants it to be, like, in the eyes of God, to be, like, blessed. Pure and pure. Oh, you did say and preacher's yeah. son, right? Yeah. He, yeah. yeah, he is. So I was like, wow, okay, so That's that means different. that you're not going to be pushing me for that kind of stuff, and you're going to take it easy. And so I just was like, you know what? Like, I love that. And some women wouldn't, but I was, like, perfectly fine with that. And um, that also was what made me feel comfortable around him. Yeah, because you knew it was real. It was about you. It wasn't yeah. about just... This yeah. sounds like a fucking epic love story. <laughs> Doesn't it? It I does. No, but Netflix. I, I mean, but, but it's I, good. <laughs> but it's good because uh, during that whole time, I mean, you get to know each other. You're, you're yeah. you become friends exactly. before you become it's the lovers. You, correct, and you build a, a a foundation, a friendship. It's not based on lust. No. You don't know if it's real or is it just really good. You know what yeah. I mean? Like you don't yeah. know. So and so then he told me like a couple. This is all during the first date, right? Yeah, now we're passing the first date. Oh, okay. A couple weeks right. later. <laughs> so a couple weeks later. We're on the second date now. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we've been hanging out every day since. Yeah. Ooh. Inseparable. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. So. Um, about your best friend. Yeah. yeah. And so he ended up meeting my parents. Um, he Thought he already had. Again, but like officially. <laughs> officially, yeah. Officially, like they invited him over because, you know, I'm Trinidadian, so they like to cook. And and what is he? He's he's um, American. He's uh, black. He's black? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very Southern. Very opposite. That's Where's he I'm from? Saying. Where's he from? He's from Georgia, Manchester, Georgia. Does he have a Southern draw? Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, and that's what you fell does. in love no. with. No. Yeah, he was like, uh, Alicia, <laughs> let me tell you something. No. Wait well, a second. That was actually the part that I had to kind of warm Get up used to, to because yeah. he was so Southern. Very Southern. Mm. His voice was like, I was like, wow. But I'm proper a, Southern. I'm a Northern yeah. girl, it's and like I'm from New York, so I'm not used to that Southern Southern. Like, his Southern was, like, deep. Damn. Yeah. 
And so I was like, well, I'm a northern girl. He's a, you know, but but it worked. But, but my, uh, do opposites attract? My, yeah. Yeah, 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 apparently they do. My father-in-law, he's from Tennessee, and he's got a southern draw, and I swear to God, bro. This guy, he's 62, 63. He's got no problem with women. Yeah, but that no, are like 10 years, it. 15 years younger than I'm like, Jerry, he's divorced. I'm like, Jerry, how do you do it? That, Let me tell you something, Sean. He looks like Sam Elliott from uh, Tombstone. You know who Sam Elliott is? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, yeah, you were saying. Yeah, Sorry. but. Side story. <laughs> yeah, he has that definitely that Southern accent. Um, but now, you know, like I don't really hear it that much. He was you on know, the phone with you before. It. It's still I there. didn't hear it. It's still I didn't there. hear it. You know, you kind of get used to it. So. Yeah. Yeah, because you're with them every day. Yeah. So it almost like you're like tone deaf to it a little yeah. bit. Yeah. It's still there. So <laughs> but, you, you know, you, just to be clear, Norman is a Southern gentleman. Yes. Okay. <laughs> we're not just talking like Southern, like down in the barn, like. We're talking southern. Whoa, down at generous. the bar. What is that supposed no, to mean? No, because you could take southern a couple different ways. Yeah, you yeah, think yeah. like country cowboy. Mm. No, you're, I'm talking, you know. Yeah. Actually, country cowboy ain't actually, bad either. No, it's not bad. I'm just trying yeah. to differentiate yes. his southern from. Yes. And you know. actually, when I met him, because he's an attorney, um, all he wore were suits. 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 Yeah. And I was like, like, was that the first day too in a suit? He wasn't in a suit, but he uh, he was dressed up. Like, but because you guys went like for something up? quick, right? Wasn't it like a, 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 a quick dinner or lunch? Well, we what had went it? to the mall, so he, yeah, it wasn't like he a had place tried all the be... way in Orlando. Driving yeah. to Orlando in a suit's a bitch. I but will say that. I don't know if he was wearing a suit. I can't really say, but I know in conversation we had talked. Norman, about did you hear this? She does I not was... remember what you were wearing <laughs> on the first day. <laughs> but I know, <laughs> on the first day. But I know we had talked about like. I was going to help him with that. I said, look, I'm going to help you get a little bit more sporty. <laughs> sporty. <laughs> yeah, because he didn't, like, own sneakers or, or t-shirts. Any type oh, of that shit. Stuff. He so literally, he was 100% just suited out. He literally suited was, out. Yeah, like, suited, suited up, bow ties. And I was like, I don't, the bow Ain't ties. Ain't nothing wrong with that either. <laughs> the bow ties, yeah, bow ties gotta, gotta go. go. You know what's funny? Like, those before. Can't go, those can't, whatever hats, they got to go. You <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Fedoras? Yeah, they got to go. <laughs> Not fedoras. Yeah, we had to Donate all of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny though because before we got married, okay, uh, me and my brother to our wives, um, we would go out suited up all the time because we were single. We were like, "Fuck it," you know. Let's <laughs> let's dress. Let's dress to dress the tees. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He definitely. I can does. respect that. But he still does. He definitely dresses to impress. Of course, now he just got. That swag. Man, I wish we had a picture we could pull up on the he screen. He got a little bit more <laughs> swag <laughs> now. You know, thanks to me. <laughs> <laughs> but um, So you guys are a few dates in. A couple mm-hmm. weeks pass after that. You're seeing each other every yeah. day. What happens after so that? So then he asked me, he said, "What? when will it be too soon to ask you, like, how long would you wait in a relationship before getting married? What is the soonest and what is the longest you would wait How'd before you someone asked you? And I said, you know what? With you, and I said, no date is too soon. Oh, oh, she got Listen, game two. She later, got game two. Five, and, uh, <laughs> five minutes later, my phone rings. <laughs> bling, bling. How can he marry? <laughs> and I said, this number? I said, no date is too soon, but a year, a year and a half is as long as... I would wait because you know time's ticking, yeah, boom, you know. Yeah. And um, how old were you then? I was like thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Yeah, thirty-seven. <clears throat> so it had a small window if you need, because I know he didn't have kids and he at least wanted one. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I ain't gonna be forty having a baby. So, you know, sooner than later. Um, so I told him that, and I didn't know that he was taking it literally like it was, that was like a no, literal so, question so you said it joking around answering it and he took it as if you were being a hundred percent time yeah i don't yeah. know if i was a hundred percent joking around because i kind of was like it's like 50, you 50. wanted it it was That's like because i kind of was, think it I was, was gonna be open, next week i was definitely <laughs> open to it yeah. yeah so i knew with me saying that i meant it yeah. But I didn't think he would literally do that. And Next then you time. get a call the same day that question was asked? So this is all happening around her birthday. 
these questions and, and, and what, what month? August. August. August, August. And August we, what? And our first date was July, in July. August yes, 20 something? August 20 something. So a month and a half after our first date. No, when's your birthday? 26. 26? Yeah. Our sister's to 22nd. Yeah. So after he quizzes her with this, um, oh, somehow, you know, he, he get, must ask you for my number at this point and telling her he, he wants my help planning her birthday, right? That's mm-hmm. kind of where it went. Yeah. So I get this call and I pick up the phone and I the Southern voice hits that and I'm like Norman, like, you know what I mean? I'm like, hey Norman, what's up? So he's like, hey, I really need to talk to you, and I was like, oh god, like it seems serious, you know? So I was like, okay, what's up? And he's like, God talked to me and he told me I have to marry Alicia. I was like, you know, it's been like weeks, so I'm like. Damn. And I, you know, and in my mind, I'm and, like, and okay. how long have they been together so far? For maybe uh, sixty days, what two months? Like talking now. Um, we were talking about a month and a half before we actually met, and then it was a month and a half, so about three, three months. months. Three months. Yeah. In August, so, right? so then you're talking to him three months in. Yeah. Right? yeah. So, you know, I didn't want to be that protective hater friend. Like, whoa, Norman, you're moving too fast. Like, I don't know what God told you, but you need to call him back. <laughs> 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 and because you know, I know her, and I'm like, man, if he asks her right now, she might freak out and run away. Like, you know, that's that's a lot. She's been through COVID. She, you know, she got through this situation. She's meeting this new guy. She's open, but I'm like, man, how open? That's real open. You know? But you didn't say any of that. No, though, in my no. mind, I said it all. And then I'm like, should I text her? And I'm like, no, I don't want to ruin it. I want to mm-hmm. tell her. I was like, I'm not telling anyone. I said, I'm going to keep this between me, him, and God. Because he said, you know, God told him. <laughs> so we're going to keep it between us three because I knew. God told I, him to do what? To marry her. Ooh. Immediately. Immediately. Like, <laughs> immediately. Yeah, like not Damn. wait. Like it had to happen. He said, I'm, I have to do this. I, I'm, I'm being moved to do this. Um, can you help me do this? And, and we're talking, him. I have yeah. like hours, minutes, I don't know how long, like he drops this on me. Her birthday is like just around the corner, like maybe that Monday. I don't know. It was... Th- so he's like, don't worry, I'm going to give you my AMX car, and you oh, order shit. everything we need to make a proposal on the beach. And I know she wants it on the beach, and that's what we're going to do. And I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, you serious? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, you're for real. Like, it's like, AMX, here's my Amazon, order away. You like, should have been like, and I'm planning to buy a couple things for myself for helping you to do this. <laughs> right? Um, so I'm like, oh, my God. So, like, every time I'm talking to her, I know. And she's like, so what's going Nothing, nothing. Like, and I'm like, and that's I'm, the crazy part. How do you I'll, keep that? I know, like, not because <laughs> our, as a friend, should you say something? Be no, like, you shouldn't. Hey, keep the surprise. Don't <laughs> tell, don't tell him. Or because just because it's so soon, I mean, that's that's a tough one on you to be like, what to do? Well, don't now. give John a too much. She did ask me a couple <laughs> questions, <laughs> but like a roundabout but way. But she does that a uh, lot. Yeah. She, do you really, really like him? Yeah. Do you? Yourself she was implying with without implying. <laughs> like, sir, I was asking like some tough questions because I had to know. Hey, my do you heart, see you yourself know? with him 15 years from now, <laughs> married <laughs> on a beach with a house? <laughs> for real. She's like, and where like, the fuck did these questions come yeah, from? Yeah, I'm like, and how many carrots do you prefer? Like, you know what I mean? Like, just throwing questions. Does it out have there. to be four or five? But, but I know. Uh, for girls sure. got to be six. But yeah, she had no idea though. She didn't no, know what was coming. I did it, and I. It's because. It's and we will not know what's coming until. after after this break, you will Did continue. Norman propose? Did Norman propose? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, welcome back to Happy Hour Holidays. I know you guys were probably on the edge of your seats because I know I am in studio just listening to this story. Did so, Norman propose? Yeah. <laughs> so, Does Norman propose? <laughs> so, but, John, going back to, you know, you knowing what he wants to do and being, you know, it's just like that's a conundrum within me that I don't even know what I would do. Yeah. But going to the point where you were saying, okay, so I'm asking all these questions. Now what are we doing? Yeah, so <clears throat> I'm, a, I'm a very spiritual person. Yeah. I'm a very spiritual friend. Um, and I do have my own connections with God. And I do believe in outside interference and influence. So I felt like if I told anybody – and they called her. And Did you tell Christian? To, I didn't. I told nobody. Christian, John has got secrets. <laughs> he did not know because Christian can't hold water. If he would have said, he would have been like, Alicia, Alicia, guess what? Guess what? I know something. Guess, I know what, something. I yeah. guess, what, guess I what I heard. Guess what I heard. And he would like ruin it. So you, you got to let him know when it's about to happen. Not anywhere near 
planning. So, um, so in my Hilarious. heart, uh, even though I wanted to call her mom, tell her dad, her bro- I didn't tell anybody. Because I didn't want anyone to call her and be like, this is too soon, Alicia. What are you doing? You just met. Because, you know, people think out of fear and they're not in the situation. So I took myself out of it and I said, Norman, if God said this, we're going to do what God said. <laughs> and we just, that's how we're going to do it. And me and Norman kept it between me and him and got everything we needed. We got, you know, we let her believe it was her birthday party at the beach and we invited mm-hmm. friends. I, the day of, or maybe, the day before, because again, I could not tell people why I sent a message. There's going to be something very special happening. I know this is last minute. If you can make it, please make it. And it was really hard for me because there was family members involved and everything. But I just knew this had nothing to do with us. This is going to be between yeah. her, Norman, and God. So as long as those three but are he, there, but it he, was okay. But he did um, speak to my parents yeah. and asked for my hand in marriage. He did. He ended up prior. calling yeah. um, prior to let like them the know. Like the day before? Or? no. He he had it planned out because he took part of my mom's ring and made it into yeah. the ring. So oh wow, they had they yeah. had it planned. And my mom has a big mouth, so for her not to say anything, yeah, she was like she felt we were on a, an alignment when you know she she was like you mean a lawyer? Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying nothing. About this. <laughs> and so. plus, they were very they were just happy to finally see me happy, and um, so. It was my birthday, and I was, I was had a nice day with all of the girls. What beach? What beach? We did were you um, we were Clearwater. staying on the Clearwater Beach at the Sand Pearl. Oh yeah, nice. Because that was like my nice favorite hotel. my favorite yeah. hotel because it was like I love the ambiance outside. So I'm like, wow, this guy's pulling out all the stops for my birthday, you know. So after that, he was like, oh, we're doing this. Jana's like, we're doing that, and I'm like, oh wow, like we had even rented one of those little cars mm-hmm. to go around. And then um, she's like, okay, we have to do a dinner. So this is the first time we got into like a little, because he hasn't told me no about anything yet. Has he, <laughs> had he told you I love you at that point yet or no? I think he did, yeah. Oh, he did? Oh. Yeah, he did. Did say. you say it back? Yeah. Or did you say thank you? No, I no, <laughs> no, I did say it back. I love you, thank or God you. I did say it back. God bless you. <laughs> but... Um, so we were in the hotel room, <laughs> and he we were trying to get ready for the dinner, and I was like, he was so nervous. Open the blinds, and I was like, I love to have the door open and the breeze. And I'm like, you know, I, I'm a beachy girl. I love. So he was like, no, no, no. Could you close the blinds? And I'm like, well, that's why we're here. Like, why do you want the blinds closed? He's like, no, I just want it to be dark. And I'm like. <laughs> What? <laughs> so I was just like, okay, you're messing my vibes up now. <laughs> like, what's going on with you? You know? I was like, that's the first time he ever said no. Like, and to I think you, it's, yeah. yeah. I was on the beach. Setting because she up was the on beach. the beach setting up. I guess he didn't the want to. That's so why. Now his that makes sense. looked right over the beach. And, oh. and when she went to open it, he could see me and the other girls. <laughs> and we're setting up this huge, like, heart with flowers. And <laughs> I literally had the bellman take the bell cart onto the beach. Like, I had the whole Sam oh, Pro yeah. resort helping me. Like, and he's like, oh my God. He's like, close that right yeah. now. <laughs> you got to be an event player, man. Yeah. So I, I was thinking I mean, the really. same thing for Johnny. That because be yeah. Johnny uh, uh, hit us up, like, maybe five months before before Christian's birthday, he's like, what do you think about this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he was like, no, keep it closed. And and then I said, okay, well, let's go walk down by the beach. Mm. So he was like, no, it's too hot out there. I don't want to go out there right now. And I'm like, Fucking up okay. your vibes again. You're yeah. Like, What's like, going on? Strike like, What's two. going on? <laughs> so he's know, like, no, the let's real go him to dinner. Is so to then we out. asked the dinner place we're like yeah i'm like we're here for reservations and they were like oh we don't have your seat so i was like what's going on like now he's not organized (laughs) (laughs) then jana's like oh and this is where it was a little weird because she's like oh we need to get in your room to get the balloons because or something and i'm like okay so then she's like oh i already got it and i'm like what (laughs) Oh, How'd you get it? Yeah, how, and I said, yeah, you gave this her is the room key. Different now. I was like, you gave her the room key? Like, <laughs> how did she get it out of there? Like, what's going on? So then Jana comes, and then she's like, you know, let's go. All of a sudden, he wants to go on the beach now. <laughs> I'm like, you said you didn't want to go on the beach, but now you want to go on the beach? <laughs> so, okay, let's go. And then Jana 
takes me from there and blindfolds me. And so I was like, okay, Blindfold. what's going on? And I guess he walks away. Sh- I walk out with her. So I'm thinking like, okay, it's an, I told him, I said, look, you've done enough for my birthday. That's enough. Like I said, okay, he's doing another surprise. <laughs> so that's what I was thinking. It's another birthday surprise. Ford Mustang red. <laughs> <laughs> so then the I beach. get out on the beach and then she removes it and he's on one knee. Ooh. And I literally was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> you know, just very surprised about it. The photographer was there. I was like, A plus, because I always told him if I'm getting I I need a cat I need a photographer <laughs> to capture the moment. So she was there taking pictures, my parents, like some of my family and friends, and I was like, Oh my gosh. So he proposed. And then after that, we were engaged. Yeah. <laughs> after engaged, how long did it take to get married? So after that, we we started the planning process because, you know, he probably want to get some. You know? <laughs> <laughs> He's tired of now. It was like 15 days from now, our wedding is here. <laughs> Basically. He's so like, so mom, next week? Like, I think my mom wanted to get him some. She was like, well, how, how about you guys just go to the courthouse and be officially married and then plan or whatever. So, no, we didn't do that, but we started looking for a location, and the, because of COVID, everything was kind of, like, weird. Is this still 2020? This was 2021. 2021? Yeah. The, well, when we got married was February of 2021. So, when did he propose, exactly? August. August? He propor- proposed in August. So, then, and then seven w- months later? Yeah. August, then w- September, October, November, December, January, February, February. Six, six months, months later. Six months yeah. later, yeah. I got did. you beat, bro. And we got married. I got married in five months. Oh, okay. Ooh, okay. We went to the courthouse. Okay. <laughs> so we got married on Valentine's Day, and it wasn't like a planned thing. That was the only he will day never that they had available. Your anniversary. Yeah. anniversary. Yeah. He will never forget your anniversary. Yeah. And that was the only day that they had available for the venue that I liked. Damn, that's actually a surprise. And it was Valentine's Day. So we ended up booking that, and then we had... A wedding and while we because of the proposal that he did and how beautiful it turned out you asked John we ended up wedding. getting <laughs> we ended up getting on a blog oh shit so because somebody that we knew was like oh I want to share your COVID love story on the blog and then from there it kind of trickled on to other people seeing the love story and was like you know what we need something positive that's going on with everything that's going on so we had the news actually at our wedding which which news um we had like bay news nine no shit mm-hmm. they they video they were there videotaping did you our reach wedding. out to them or they reached out to you they reached out to us oh wow yeah and then they were following up on your y- initial yeah. engagement story exactly and they wanted to be part exa- of the wedding let yeah. me get let me get that blog dog what, <laughs> what blog is that <laughs> i want to be on it <laughs> yeah so we had um just a overwhelming response like i was like this must be meant to be because literally netflix hit us up for the love is blind we did like a um a, a blurb for them for the new year on what is co- like meeting during covid oh, um shit. so we were like in their intro for love is blind which was they paid us to do that and then and so you're on netflix also we were just on that part the of promo. netflix the yeah promo? the promo oh, yeah. for netflix and then we just had all these different outlets reaching out to us that want to talk about our love story. Steve Harvey, they reached out to us, which I was like, is this real? But they were like, we're going to fly you out. We want to put you on Steve Harvey. And I said, well, you know what? At this time, I was like, I don't mind, but what date is it going to be? Because I'm actually pregnant right now. And they were like, you're pregnant? And I said, yeah, and I want it. I'm planning my gender reveal, and I want – to know like what date it's gonna be so I can plan around it. They were like, gender reveal? Mm-hmm. Steve Harvey has never done a gender reveal. <laughs> How about he do your your gender reveal on air? Are and I'm you like, kidding what? Me? Oh, that's <laughs> so I was like, okay. So they brought us on the show. We did our gender reveal on there. How, how was it revealed? I'm just curious. Like, was it like just, oh, and your baby is gonna be mm-hmm. this? Well, what or did the, they like swing a golf a club? Or? Well, they had a box and they, when they opened the box, the balloons popped out either whatever color oh, it was. Okay. And I really didn't know what it was until then because my uh, Mallory, she had the, the information and she held it very secret. Mm-hmm. And um, she let them know 
And is they Mallory actually, your cousin? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And sh- they had all of them there, like on Zoom. on Zoom, on live on the show when they did that announcement. And um, <clears throat> so yeah. But she's missing one little detail about. She found something out right before. Yes. And she called me, and she's like, "I'm a little conflicted. I know this information. I feel I don't yeah. know how I could take." I this. literally found out. Well, what did not a hundred percent found out? Well. So I got married. So when we got married, like we got pregnant within three months. Oh yeah, he was after. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was ready. So <laughs> was like, I waited this long. <laughs> so we got pregnant within three months. I actually went um, to a checkup for you know while being pregnant, like a normal physical, checkup. Right? Yeah. I just had really bad morning sickness. Was sick constantly all the time, um, which is kind of normal for me with my other kids. But this was like extreme. So I just went for a checkup. Um, she's like, do you want me to do like a feel on your breast, make sure everything's okay? I'm like, okay, no problem. She did that, and she said, I kind of feel a little something there. And she's like, you might want to go get that checked out. She wrote me a, 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 subs- a prescription. A prescription. <laughs> yeah. I always say subscription. <laughs> <laughs> she wrote me a prescription to go get it checked out. And I said, you know what? Like I said, I had just bought some boobs with yeah. my money that Brand I boobs. made. <laughs> so I'm like, you know what? It's probably something with that because prior they had found like a lump that was non-benign um, before. And I said, you know what? It's probably that. I Can I ask what kind of implants? Were they silicone or saline? They were silicone. They were silicone? Yeah. Could that have attributed to what I get, I'm guessing you're about to say? No. No? They okay. said no. But honestly... Um, I think what really contributed to it. Um, We're talking about breast cancer. Breast right? cancer, yeah. yeah, is stress. Stress. So the stress that I went through for you know being in the toxic relationship for that many years, I think played a big part on it. I'm not gonna say 100 percent that's what it was, but that along with other medicines that I had to take because I had a thyroid issue, I think that could have played a part in it too. But you just never know yeah. exactly what it could have been. Uh, does your family have a history of cancer? No. No. No, we don't really have a history of cancer. And so when I went, um literally I put it on the top of the fridge and I wasn't gonna even check on it. It literally flew down right in front of my face, like, bam. Like, God was like, need to go get this done. So I went and got it done. Um, they, they ordered me to do a biopsy while pregnant. So that was a red flag. While like, pregnant. If you're making me do a biopsy while pregnant, you must see something. Yeah. So they called me and my husband in, and this was right before I was going to go on the Steve Harvey show. And um, they had made, well, they had made the appointment to meet for me to meet with them. And I was nervous about it, but I had to go on the Steve Harvey show like that day. And my appointment to meet with them was like the day after. And I'm like, obviously know what they're gonna say or kind of thinking about what they're gonna say. So the producers on the Steve Harvey show, they were like, you sound different, everything okay? And I'm like, I kind of broke down with her and I kind of told her what they kind of insinuated that I have, but they didn't give me like, you know, confirmation. It was a confirmation yeah. about what type or anything. So she was like, I was like, she was like, let's keep it happy. Let's not even bring that up. You enjoy your moment. And later down the road, we can discuss that. Let's not even touch that subject. So I said, you know, she's like, do you still want to do this? I said, of course. Like, this is what I've been looking forward to. Um, the joy about the baby, finding out what it is. You know, I'm excited about this. So we continued on, and it was a great reveal. And um, we found out it was a girl. My husband initially wanted a boy. So people are like, he, he you could oh, tell he was comments, upset. The, the, <laughs> the social media comments. Yo, oh you know my what? Gosh. Every father wants a son. Yeah. I mean, you got to think about it. And I don't think it's wrong for no. wanting something, you know, if caring. Yeah. But he, he was happy with whatever healthy baby it, it was. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure at the end um, of the day. Yeah. yeah. And he out and God gives you what you need. And I think yeah. he needed a daughter. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> and he he's a girl dad now to the fullest mm-hmm. and he loves being a dad and you know, finding out the fact that I had Did cancer. Did Norman while know pregnant. you had cancer at that point? 
what the reveal? No, yeah, during yeah, the Steve Harvey. He yeah. also knew also. He also knew. So, so. both of y'all had to just act like nothing yeah. was and going on. And going back to social media comments, there were people saying the most <laughs> ugliest things, and this is why you shouldn't make an opinion. They were both in, like, surprise shock mode. So, like, people were like, they don't even like each other. They're not even all over each other. Why are they not even holding hands? What kind of this and that? And you know what we have this to say? This girl just found... Fuck social media. No, but it was so <laughs> yeah. crazy People were commenting. They were like, do they really, do they really love each other? They're not going to last a year. Check back in a year. They'll be, you know... Yeah, you know, they're haters. both in shock. Like, haters. just like... You know, you're trying to be happy, but you just found out something so... And that's why yeah, we can't judge a book by its cover. Do, you don't know what people are Have you put through. this story out before? Yeah. The, okay, so it, now people know. So now oh, all those well, people that this, negatively not this answer to it, they didn't know cuz on the Steve Harvey show they didn't mention the cancer. No, so no, no. Knew. I'm saying now. Well, now they know. Now they know. A lot of those, know. Lot of those people know. follow yeah. the story and they see now yeah. what right. what it is. So all you haters out there with negative comments at the time, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So, I'll say yeah. it for you. <laughs> yeah, so it was it was definitely a hard time because you know finding out while you're pregnant that you have cancer, we were just like, okay, what do we do? You know, what, what do you do? What do we do? Like how do you treat this? And we went to a couple doctors. One of the doctors had a completely different plan that was just like, hey, this is what we're gonna do. Don't you get like a double mastectomy? Yeah, they were gonna. They were like, we're gonna give you a double mastectomy. You're not gonna have any nipples because you are pregnant. We're gonna go in there, basically chop you up. Yeah, and yeah. That's it. And then my husband was like, no, we're not going with that. We're gonna see other doctors. And I found another doctor, Doctor Cabordi. Shout out to him. <laughs> Amazing doctor in Tampa. in Tampa, one of the best. At Moffitt Cancer Center? Or? No, he's um with ta- um, Baycare. Baycare. He's with Baycare, but he's one of the top surgeons. And he said, you know what? We're going to do a lumpectomy. You're still going to have your nipples. We're going to get in there, just take what needs to come out. And then we're, but you, you know. So they made, just removed the tumor is what yeah. you're saying? Yeah. And then they were able to, but I did have to start chemo. And she's While still pregnant. pregnant. Yeah, even with that surgery. You know, and they tell yeah. you. One minute left. Okay. No. And they tell you. Well, We're going to find out <laughs> the rest of this story after this break. Does this, she beat breast cancer? Does she beat <laughs> breast cancer? <laughs> Well, you're here. Uh, Yeah, well, yeah, Yeah. she's alive. So, uh, yeah. Uh, We'll be right back. Like, follow, comment, subscribe. Welcome back to Happy Hour Holidays. Uh, Alicia was telling us about the when she found out at the Steve Harvey show, it was probably the day before that she probably had breast cancer so we were going through hey some emotions here social media not being a very nice people um so how did you overcome all these obstacles all at once i mean you're freshly married you're pregnant you know you have all these emotions right now you're probably wondering hey why me so how did you fight through that keep a positive attitude find the doctor of your choosing that actually was willing to go through the surgery to remove the lump so yeah did you go through the lumpectomy or yeah i had a lumpectomy and then our our plan was to wait till the baby is in the third trimester because the baby had to be fully developed before i started chemo and then they said that it shouldn't affect the baby because the baby is already fully developed um but you know, that was a hard decision for me and my husband to make, whether we do chemo or not, because obviously you have a choice. Yeah. Um, but So after they did the lumpectomy, you still had cancer? Yeah, because they removed the cancer, but you still have to, you know, there's, the remnants there's, of there's it. still remnants, little, you know, so they have to make sure that they kill off. Any Can you tell me what chemo is? Because I have no clue exactly what it is. Do they put you in a radiation machine or no, something no, no. like that? No, no, no. Chemo, they just things. chemo. It, yeah. Chemo, they just put it in through an IV. It's a liquid, like a it's okay. A, it's like a liquid drug, but it pulls. I mean, it kills all your blood cells, pretty much. Did they tell the you good how that and could? The bad. Did they tell you how that could affect the baby? I don't. Because that's a that's a hard decision to make. I, it's a challenging decision. Yeah, to make. it's very challenging, and we prayed about it. But not only that, like they basically was like, "Well, the baby needs a mom." So I mean, it's like I could choose not to do it, and then I'd be, Dead, I have maybe. the baby, and the baby won't have a mom. 
um, because it could have gotten a lot worse because it was an aggressive type. I did catch it at a good time, but it was still an aggressive type of cancer. So. And how is your child? Perfectly fine, healthy, oh, healthy. Yeah. Oh yeah. She. They said that you know she might be on the smaller side, especially since we kind of induced like six weeks early to kind of finish my treatment. Um, they said that she just might be a little bit smaller, and That's she might a be a thing. little. She might be a little bit behind, like because she's a preemie. But she started walking at seven months. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it doesn't sound she, like she's behind. She surpassed <laughs> every goal. By far. How old she is she She was ready now? to leave the hospital before you were. Yeah. <laughs> she, she was already she walking out. out. She was. <laughs> they were like, oh, she Even can go. though she was six months early, she didn't have to even touch the NICU. Mm-mm. She actually. Six weeks early. Six weeks early. Oh, okay. She didn't even have to go on the NICU. She was born with a set of lungs that Mariah Carey. <laughs> you know, she just was perfect. There was nothing. She came out screaming, this yeah. woman's on fire. Yeah, and I actually named her Journey. Oh, that's journey a great name. That that's we a great were name. on together. I said Journey so much. I said my journey, my journey. And I said Journey. That's her name. How, how's it spelled? Is it spelled like? J-O-U-R-N-I. With I like I. that. Yeah, yeah, there you go. So we named her Journey, and she was born happy and healthy. And this, during the time that I was going through chemo and everything, people were like, girl, you people. got, they, they were like, you got chemo <laughs> over here. You're on chemo, <laughs> and you're doing what? Like, <laughs> literally, I just saw my life flash before me, and I said, you know what? I did not create a legacy. Like, I did not finish these goals that I have. So, and because when you're going through something, or at least when I'm going through something, I just go, I'm in go mode. So I'm like, okay, what do I need to do? So I literally, beca- I was like, you know, I'm going to take a, become a realtor. <laughs> <laughs> I took that exam, became a realtor while doing chemo. I, I just, in my head, I already knew you that I was all like all kinds of certifications. All kinds of certifications. I I got certified for um, to nipples. do nipples for cancer patients. I just knew that I wanted to take what I went through and to, to give back to help others. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna I'm already um, licensed to do permanent makeup. Let me go get certified to do nipples yeah. for uh, breast cancer patients. Which I went and I did that. I took a class all the way in Texas to get that done. And then I knew I wanted to start a nonprofit. And I said, there's so many things that were missing for me that I know that I can offer to other women that have find themselves in similar situations. And a lot of people don't know that, first of all, you can be pregnant and do chemo. Or, you know, they tell you don't even take Tylenol, don't have alcohol, don't drink wine, but you can do the most dangerous oh, yeah. drug. Mm, yeah while pregnant um so i said you know what i want to start a nonprofit. so in my head i was already trying to get that together and um, my husband it kind of sparked him to he was the pastor's son but he was a preacher but he was like a guest preacher like people would just invite him to speak um but it it made him want to get into ministry and start his own so he started he it's a year now that he started his own ministry and I helped him with that, and then I just launched and began my nonprofit. And we actually had our first event. What? What's last your nonprofit week. called? It's called Journey for Two. Journey for so, Two. Is Journey spelled with an I? Yep. Ah, so it's about your daughter. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, and it's for two because it's about the mom and the baby. And what um, about the father? The father had to be there, you know. Yeah. Journey for three. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, the father had to be there, too. The father does go through a lot as well, but um, we're focusing on the people who are... Yeah, no, I got you. I got it. I got it. I got it. it. (laughs) And taking the chemo. (laughs) A little different. (laughs) So, but we are helping um, moms that are any type of cancer, not just breast cancer, that are going through it. Um, Some of these moms are not as fortunate as me that have a father in the picture. Some of them are single moms that are battling cancer and don't have anybody there for them. And they're trying to navigate being a mom, um, taking their kids to daycare, who's going to watch their kids while they're going to treatment. So I want to implement things that are able to make things easier for them. 
um, offer child care services or at least money to help for that um, transportation. Some of them are not able to, to get rides or have cars oh, or wow. what, you know. Yeah. So also want to create awareness for women that are pregnant because believe it or not, like some of these women don't find out while they're pregnant, but they it's laying dormant or it's it starts to spark while they are pregnant. So they find out a little bit down the line when they have a baby after they have a baby because when you're pregnant your hormones just go crazy go crazy yeah Yeah. and so that's kind of like what happened with me and a lot of women they kind of find out sometimes when the baby's two or three but they didn't know that they had it while they were pregnant so just trying to create awareness and different screenings that they can do while being pregnant to find out so they can catch it early before they get to stage three or stage four. So what so. event are you having that you mentioned? You said you're having your first yes, event. Yes, I just had my first event last week, and um, it was called Painting with a Purpose. So I got a bunch of girls together. Um, I put an invite out, and actually it was like a lot of people, some of the people that I know, but a lot of people that I don't know, and a lot of them were either cancer survivors or actually some of were actually under treatment and um, they heard about it and we I was expecting originally to to plan this event for like 20 to 25 people and we had over 80 people success yes that's awesome a success spreading awareness yeah yep. so I mean what was the event about painting with the purpose I'm assuming yeah. they were painting something yeah um, we were painting the where, um, where was it held at it was held in Midtown. Midtown. Oh shit, Midtown yeah. is nice, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like Midtown. It was held in Midtown, and we had a professional painter. She came out, and we painted the the ribbon um, with flowers coming out of it. And um, we also had that one of the doctors that helped me through it. She spoke at that event, and we had a couple. When we had a woman that was under treatment speak, and then I told my story, and we just. You know, we had a vibe. We had a good mm-hmm. time. And we mm-hmm. also, um, a lot of the girls that were there, they're like, when is the next event? I was or, about to ask that question. Yeah. Are you planning one a month, one a, one no, every two I'm weeks? No, I'm planning, like, to do three to four events for the year, every year. Um, the next one will probably be... Uh, March. I'm thinking March. Yeah. And then probably for Mother's Day. And then, of course, we're going to probably do something... Um, in October. So do you see that this foundation, Journey for Two, going to maybe outside of Tampa and maybe also influencing the Southeast region where yeah. maybe you do actually have one a week just to spread awareness in different cities? It doesn't have to be the same city, you know? Yeah. We're, I definitely want to grow it on a national level. Um, I already have. Because you'd be helping so many moms yeah. out. And, I and already not just have moms, a, but family members, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Family yes. members, yeah. I didn't know what to do. I mean, yeah. you, you don't you don't even know what that means. Someone, you know, that you love so close to you, pregnant with cancer, you don't even know what to say. Like, I would, what like, let her say? leave. You don't know what, I'm just like, uh. you believe what some, some people, people say. say. Yeah. Like, I'll, they'll be like, I'm oh. pregnant and I got cancer. I'd be like, shit, you got <laughs> fucked. Uh, you'll <laughs> I mean. hear some people like, what, you're doing chemo while pregnant? Like, I can't believe you're doing that. It's like. You yeah. tell me that well, while I'm doing this, like, I have a choice. First of all, they're not doctors. Yeah. Right. Why do they have an opinion? Yeah. Everyone has an opinion. And oh, then they're yeah. like, oh. Everybody's got an asshole. Some and of them smell. And the favorite thing that people say, they're like, oh, my gosh. Like, I knew somebody with breast cancer. They died the other day. And I'm like. Jesus. She had to get oh. off the internet. She had and to she's get like, off Facebook. Oh, and I know somebody who just, it came back again last week. And now they're. Yeah. They're four, stage four, and I'm like, thanks. Yeah, that's exactly what I want to hear. I got high hopes all of a sudden. Right. <laughs> I mean, but shit. one thing, she definitely handled cancer with grace and poise. Like, I'm telling you, this girl would have chemo on a Tuesday, and she'd be back at it on a Friday. She didn't even wear it. Like, you couldn't even tell, like, what she was going through. She just pushed through it. She's like, I don't want any negativity. Don't talk, like... There was like a time she's like, I don't want to hear anything negative. Yeah. And Didn't she you say you had a bald head? You. Like you mm-hmm. cannot oh, yeah. tell anything. Yeah, with chemo. You got a you got a picture of that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let, me, let me see real quick. Yeah. Cause <laughs> damn dog, 
That's got to suck. Yeah. Why does chemo make you lose your hair? Because it's a chemical that's yeah, going into your it makes, body. It makes you... Do you think if, like, I took that chemical, i lose my body hair instead of doing, like, laser hair removal? Oh, my God. It, you don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, you don't. I'm hairy as shit. It is poison. Like it yeah. literally poisons your body to kill everything. Yeah. I'm just, yeah. I'm just trying kill. not to shave no more. It oh. just <laughs> kills off the good and the bad. But this is me, pregnant. Holy cow! And bald. <laughs> and beautiful. Here, show. You point it to the camera. And so imagine my husband that <laughs> that. He's like, hey, I scored. I married this supermodel. I rushed to this marriage. And he didn't know that he was going to be tested through sickness and health within the first three months. Hey, when months. you get married, that's the way it works. But you see, yeah. it takes me back to why I did not intervene. When he said God told me, and I, it, my opinion didn't matter and at imagine, that point. Imagine. So you guys have been married for three years now? No, it's, we're going on, years? going on three years, three years in yeah. February. But imagine if I didn't give him a chance. Yeah. Ah, I may not because, have been here. Because you did cancel on him a couple times. Because <laughs> it took her being pregnant to find out. Yeah. You know what all it tells me is Norman's very persistent. Wow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what was one of the most valuable lessons that you got from that journey, Alicia? Like, you know, through journey. getting married, the whole journey. Obviously, <laughs> you had journey. journey but, yeah. but, you know, what was one Can of the Can we show journey? Can, Can we show, show journey? Let's see journey. <laughs> okay. I'll yeah, I do love that name with an yeah. I. If you would have spelled it with an E-Y... I would have been like, damn, that kid's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with the eye. And she is definitely... Who came up with that name? Me. You did? My husband wasn't... He wasn't very What's the open middle name? to it. What's the middle name? Adriana. Oh, I like that name. Adriana. He wasn't very open to it, but he's like, hey, you're going through a lot. Whatever, <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever you want. Whatever you want to name her, <laughs> I'm not going to argue. You basically... He's a smart man. <laughs> Yes, honey. <laughs> Whatever you'd like. He's like, I'll let I'll let you I'll let you have that one. And it grew on him. He's like he likes it now, but I like that name. Adriana though. That uh, a buddy of ours, uh Adrian, his daughter's second daughter, his name her name is uh Adrina. Mm -hmm. So it's Aww. it's almost the same. So this is Journey. Journey <laughs> She looks like mom a lot. Right? Mama. She my looks like mom a lot. <laughs> oh my goodness. My little mini me, but um, so what's next for Alicia? So what's next is just you know I'm I do multiple things, maybe too many things that Jana gets on me about, and and my husband he's like you just because I am someone that I like to accomplish things, but I don't always follow through with it. Like I'm like I want to know that I I can get it done. And I do get it done, but just because I have moved on to the next thing is because I just don't feel like the fit was for me. But I do want to focus on my nonprofit. Um, do you still do the MLM? No. No. That was that no, was that, that was there that was for <laughs> COVID. It served its purpose. It served its purpose, <laughs> and that's still, what it did. Do Everything. you still do realty? Uh, I real estate, I just will use that for... John's like, you better have quit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would use... I'm trying to quit. No. <laughs> <laughs> I am... I'm a licensed, and I, I'll keep my license active right now, uh, but it's just to help if, you know, a client of mine or somebody personal... I don't advertise it, but if someone's looking and they, they want me to help, then... Of course, I'd help them. But so we're wrapping my up. focus is oh, the nonprofit right now. So we're wrapping up the show. We like to ask our guests, what are some final words you could leave the audience with? Uh, it could be words of motivation. It could be just something that you want to leave on this world that could be remembered forever. Do you have anything to say to the audience that you would like to be remembered forever? Words of remembrance. Boom, that's what we're going to start <laughs> calling it. <laughs> um... Let me think. This is where I... <laughs> do, okay, I'll let do, her think, do, and I'll, I'll tell you mine, because I already know mine, too. And I kind of already talked about them on mm -hmm. here. I think something that I would want to leave with people is when someone is telling you something, like kind of how like Norman entrusted me with that information, um, we have to take ourselves out of it, because sometimes our opinions can really influence people's 
lives and they might not make decisions because we've really influenced them with our opinion and our opinion may not be right and I could have intervened and been like Alicia oh my god Norman called me he wants to marry you I think this is too quick don't do it and look what was so far ahead that I couldn't see she needed to be in this situation she needed to meet Norman God had a, a something that I couldn't see and I could have gotten in the way of that by putting my opinion and you know talking to her and then putting that in her mind so I try really hard to just listen more than I speak and try to support people and not put my opinion and force it onto them and I think that's so important because we could really detour people like you know it is it could be anything like a business venture you tell someone like don't deter them like oh that's gonna be hard you'll never make it wow. oh mm-hmm. only five percent of people make that happen like, don't, like, That's oh, wow, point. you know yeah. what? Hey, there's 5% of people that made it happen. Why can't you be the next? Mm-hmm. You yeah. know, there's a different way we can kind of approach. Bring each other up. Yeah, bring and each other up. That's and really always what it is. remain positive, and that's what she could say. I'm always, like, anything negative, I'm like, I don't want to hear it. And when yeah. I was going through the cancer, I just wanted nothing but positivity around me. I didn't want to hear anything negative. And I just use that time to kind of turn your pain into purpose. And just remain positive through it all. And I, I think that I just looked at it as I'm going through this for a reason. Right. And what is that reason? And I felt like God put me through that to not only like tear me down and build me up into a better person, but also so I can know for sure how all the women that I'm going to be helping feels like I had to feel it myself. And um, so I think that that definitely helped me through what I was going through I, I, and it helped me remain positive because I, I thought about it like that and I said, I have to be, there has to be a reason that I'm going through this and I just try to remain positive through it all. I say you got 30 seconds. Yeah, no, and I, I mean, I think that's one of the biggest things. That's why I love Christian so much is because of the positivity. Every time I'm around mm-hmm. that guy, it's always positive, and I like being around positive people, and I think everybody's like that. We 15 wanna... seconds. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching. Happy Hour Holidays. Thank you to Alicia for coming on and sharing her story along with Jonna. And uh, please thank like, you. comment, Thanks and subscribe. Thanks for having us. Yes. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> and uh, fuck this guy. <laughs>